opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter attacking chances. d4 grabs full control of the center and opens up the dark squared bishop. d5 is a counter attack in the center that threatens the e4 pawn. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and pressures the d5 pawn. And f6 defends the d5 pawn and also attacks the e4 pawn. e5 closes the center and immediately attacks the knight on f6. And f d7 retreats the attack knight and prepares the c7 c5 pawn break. f4 supports the e5 pawn and prepares to develop the knight to f3 behind the f pawn. C5 attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the knight to c6 behind the c pawn. Nf3 supports the d4 and e5 pawns. Nc6 develops the knight and attacks the d4 pawn. B3 develops the bishop and defends the d4 pawn. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to win a knight. This defends the attacked knight. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. This wins a knight. This is the only good move. It is the last book move. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.